My name is Justin Davis. I'm currently assigned as a background investigator for Kent Police Department here in Kent, Washington. My current role is to basically limit liability for the city. Uh, and I do that by vetting the candidates who come in and want to apply to be a police officer here. For years and years, we've been uh, hanging our hats on the polygraph uh, as far as hiring and, and as being the the only real truth verification out there. So uh, naturally, I was very skeptical with the eye detect. Truthfully, uh, when we first got the eye detect, I was still not uh, convinced about it. Uh, we tried about 20 candidates up front. Of those 20 candidates, those that didn't pass eye detect uh, also didn't pass polygraphs and soon learned that the technology eye detect uses was on par and, and very accurate along with the polygraph. And that kind of sealed my, my belief system in this technology. So using eye detect, it has really streamlined our hiring process. When I use the polygraph, those first candidates that I sent directly to polygraph, regardless of what the results were from the eye, from eye detect, I sent them to polygraph and I got that baseline where everybody who scores at a certain point and below, 100% of those candidates would fail the polygraph as well. So I started using that as our failure point. Anybody who scores below that point, I don't waste any more time on. Instead of spending 20, 30 hours on a candidate who will not pass the polygraph, who is not truthful, I can spend three or four hours with them initially getting their, going through their personal history statement and doing the eye detect, which is a, a savings of many, many man hours, uh, which equates to dollars, you know, for the city. So far in our process, the amount of time that has been saved uh, has been mind-blowing to me. Uh, we've been using iDetect since approximately, well really, realistically, January 2017 is when we really got on using iDetect with our candidates. Since that time, as to date, we've done 68 uh, candidates through this, through using iDetect. Of those candidates, 43% of those are deceptive, which, which equates to, like I was saying, uh, man hours, right? Right now, iDetect has paid for itself uh, for the city of Kent. Our annual cost of savings, I guess you would say, would be probably somewhere in the neighborhood of sixty to, to $70,000. In this day and age, we hear from all over the country when, when you talk to other cops, we're doing more with less, right? Uh, that's that's the, uh, the tagline, if you will. Well, we really are, at this stage, uh, doing more with less. We are leaning more on technology and trying to pave the way. This technology, there's no bias there. It doesn't care one way or the other, and doesn't care uh, gender, doesn't care color, it doesn't care about any of that. Uh, all it cares about is truthfulness. And to base that, to base our decision on truthfulness, I don't think you could go wrong. I hear candidates all the time uh, rave that because Kent PD is using the newest technology out there. They're, we're an agency that they want to come work for. Um, in this day and age of, of technology, uh, these young men and women want to come work for an agency who is on the, the tip of the spear, if you will, of using technology and using it to our advantage. This instrument is phenomenal in that. 